everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to take beautiful red peppers and roast them yourself in your oven so you can have some amazing roasted red peppers on hand for any time you like. Let's go see how this all comes together. Today we are going to share with you how you can make your own roasted red peppers at home in your oven. Now I don't have a gas stove and typically these can be done over the open flame of your gas burner or over the open flame of your, um, your barbecue grill if you have one or your gas grill. Um, I do have a butane cooker that has an open flame but today I want to do a couple of peppers all at one time and I want it just to be done so we're gonna go ahead and put these on a baking sheet and bake them off in the oven the oven needs to be preheated to 500 degrees I'm gonna do the two largest peppers that you see here in front of you I'm gonna save the other two for something different and then I'm gonna share with you how to do this It's super super simple now you can buy roasted red peppers in the grocery store absolutely no problem whatsoever but Sometimes it's just nice to be able to make your own. And the way we're gonna do that today is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these in half. So make sure you have a nice sharp knife. And then we're gonna pull out um, the stem and I'm gonna cut out the, uh, the membrane here, the ribs, the best you can. Just clean it out really well. You can get a spoon if you have to. And if you don't get all of it, it's really, not that big of a deal, but it does remove some bitterness. I have a baking sheet that I've prepared with some non-stick aluminum foil. Doesn't matter if it's non-stick or not, it just needs to be foil, or if you have a, you know, don't wanna worry about cleanup, this is the way to go. You don't need to add any oil. You need to add nothing to the peppers. Just put them on your baking sheet. My oven has been preheating and it's ready to go at 500 degrees. Between 450 and 500 is where you want your oven. Since I'm gonna be making pizza later today, this was the perfect time to roast these peppers off because my oven needs to be screaming hot for my pizza anyway, so this is a great time to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in my oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they're charred and the pepper has slumped just a little. Then I'll bring you back and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, our peppers were in the oven for about 30 minutes. And now what you wanna do is just take these off the baking sheet, pop them in a bowl, and then, then you wanna cover this with plastic wrap and you're gonna let this sit again for about a half an hour and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna peel them. All right, we let our peppers sit in this bowl for about a half an hour and now they're just, they're cool enough for me to handle. So that's really the key, is you wanna make sure that your peppers are cool enough for you to handle. So if you have, don't have asbestos fingers like I do, then you just wanna wait a little while longer. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're just going to gently start to peel off the charred skin. And I will say it is helpful if you wear a pair of gloves because you don't, first of all, it helps as a barrier for the temperature. And then um, you're not going to destroy the pepper uh, a whole lot getting the skin off of it. So that's how you remove the skin and then you can just lay it over here and move on and do the rest. And I like doing it like this where I have cut the pepper in half because then I don't have to deal with the seeds. So these are super clean now and you can just go ahead and, and discard the skins. You don't have to cut these up. You can just pop them in a jar hole like that but I'm gonna probably use them if I cut them into strips, this is how I prefer to do it. And then you can just pop these in a jar with a little bit of olive oil or, <laughs> or your mouth. <laughs> um, here. And you'll be ready to go. Roasted red peppers. That was super easy. We'll be right back. And there you have it, our roasted red peppers. I transferred them to a jelly jar. Um, those two peppers fit in here perfectly. And I put about a tablespoon of olive oil. I just floated it 
See, I just poured it in and then it's gonna bubble all the way down and it's gonna fill up all the cracks and the crevices in the jar and it's going to act as a preservative. And then the bonus, you have red pepper flavored oil for later and you can drizzle that on a salad, may put it in a vinaigrette, you can um, put it on a pizza. So that's how you do roasted red peppers in your oven at home if you're not fortunate to have a gas stove. This is just another easy way to do it and really it's, it's a real, I think it's a time saver, frankly, because this is one of those things you can fill up a baking sheet with red peppers if you get them on sale, even better, and just put them in the oven and go do some other task for about a half an hour. When you start to smell them, and you'll know when it's time to check them because you'll start to smell that charred aroma and you'll just know by the smell that the peppers might be close to ready. And you wanna make sure that they're charred well all the way across not just like a spot here and a spot there you want them to be charred the way that i showed you and then just let them rest and peel those skins off and you're ready to go so i'm ready to use these in a couple of recipes that will be coming up on the channel and this is as basic as a kitchen basic gets homemade roasted red peppers i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you are new to my kitchen and you happened on over because you wanted to learn how to roast red peppers welcome it's always a pleasure to have new friends join me please be sure and hit the subscribe button and as always if you are a tried and true member of the noreen's kitchen family please Please be sure and hit the bell notification button and set your YouTube homepage to your subscription feed because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you roast your own red peppers really soon and I hope you love them and until next time, I'll see ya.